Today, the number one Mad Maggie is answering your most important questions. All right, first question from Lachlan. Does Maggie's ult supply good rotational mobility for you? And is it safer to primarily use it in fights? Depends, in pubs, I would definitely use it just to get to fights quicker, just because you don't always need it. But for ranked, I would definitely save it for fights. Well, that plays into our next question by a broke sneakerhead. At what stage of the game is Maggie more useful, early, mid, end game? And what stage of the game should you play to get the most kills in? But I'm gonna also ask you, when should you be using that ult? In the middle, early, or end of the fight too? That's a long question. It is, it is. <laughs> um, so she's good throughout the entire game. I've never really had an issue, like just playing this character and obviously if you like in the open you wish you were a different legend but yeah for the most part she's solid throughout the entire game and for her ult what you said what was the question when would you use her ultimate like in the beginning of the fight towards the middle of the fight to maybe knock somebody back or at the end to you know i always try to use it to close the distance because most people like if you need to just get up in their face because they're just playing a little bit range most people are going to get out of the way of her ball so it provides you time to actually push up and get a different angle or get some cover okay so i would probably we try to use it like towards the beginning of the fight all right and which stage of the game are you trying to get the most kills in broke sneakerhead wants to know usually towards the beginning just because the lobbies tend to die down pretty quickly all right all right i'm heisen wants to know what legends you like to run in terms of playing aggressive and then what legends you like to run with playing passively on your team aggressive i like octane because as a team if you can get a knock that pad just helps you get to that person's teammates a lot quicker as as a unit rather than just pushing individually and then passively i mean you can't go wrong with the caustic it's just especially in rank it just provides a lot of cover from third party buys you time do you want a legend that can get you to height as well or are you actually fine with two defensive legends i prefer having a legend that can get us to height it makes fights quicker okay you've been playing a lot of rank this season uh not really i'm only like diamond three i play usually only when it's the world edge um day <laughs> okay also what do you think of the uh the rotation do you like that more than let's say it was just stuck on broken moon the whole time for a rank yeah i think it's better like it freshens it up because when i used to grind ranked only it was it would get pretty stale <laughs> it was yeah. boring 100 percent. all right daniel watkins wants to know when playing maggie i always run one of the four shotguns what is your go-to secondary to cover everything that isn't short range probably the r3 r3 still with the nerf yeah it's just the most consistent i pick up the nemesis occasionally if i feel like running an r9 but for the most part the r3 is just consistent for the range that's what a lot of people have been saying the r9 has been like their go-to yeah yeah all right blazing killer do you keep a shotgun at all times if so which one is your favorite to use not always but i do try to run it more consistently if i'm trying to be consistent the eva if i'm trying to have more fun the mozambique camera points has been really fun lately okay I know people like the PK a lot, but I'm just very inconsistent with it. I either hit everything or I miss everything. No yeah, it's literally either a, a 99 or a freaking 15 every single time yeah. <laughs> all right carnage what is your favorite thing about her kit it's got to be the tactical it's just really fun it's very satisfying to be able to knock people with it or push them from behind cover just to get a free knock kind of take us through what and when to use that tactical ability like let's say someone is it only when someone's hiding behind cover that you're using it or are so you using it to I, stop you, angles? usually because you get it so quickly it takes what like 17 seconds 15 seconds to get it back you can use it in the very beginning of fight especially if you need to close some distance and someone's holding like an angle behind something you can use the tack to push them off and then run up and then usually by the time you, you get to them you can use another tack my favorite thing to do with it is just to, in the uh, holding the door on you you just tack the door and 90 percent of the people will just turn their back to you and you just one clip them in the back as they're running away in a rank situation what i tend to see happen is we'll just be posted up in a fight if we see someone out in the open behind a box i'll make sure my teammates are ready to shoot him the second i tack the box so that way you know he's gonna run away from it he can't just eat the tack all right salty comment wants to know what is the best and worst map to play as maggie i'd say the worst is storm point due to it having a lot of open space and a lot of height maggie tends to struggle sometimes when you play a lot of like buildings that require you to climb up to height it's not the easiest for her to get up for pubs my the best map i think is olympus 
it's not too big of a map, but it has a lot of cover, so her attack is really well, and her ult's good in most of those buildings. I, f I find myself getting the most high kill games on Olympus, too, because it's not compact, I would say, but, like, you know, the fights happen in the same couple of areas, whereas yeah, Broken Moon they, and Storm Point's all over the place. It has three solid POIs in the center. That's why I always find that it's the best. You have, what, Estates, Hammond, and then Energy Depot, I believe. Yeah. And most teams tend to fluctuate th through those three POIs. All right, Pork and Twan to know do you think maggie's hitbox is a little too big for her i feel like she's a bullet magnet i've never felt that way i i definitely don't feel like i get beam like I'll, sometimes i'll play like wraith or pathfinder and those characters i feel like i'm just constantly getting one click i'm like oh gosh i've never had any issues with her hitbox you're telling porkins he needs to up his movement game for sure <laughs> yeah maybe too just much. play a little bit more cover you know <laughs> All right, Dizzy Kid, how do you feel about some pros running Maggie more frequently now? I think it's good. It gives her more playability. I've seen a lot of Maggies this season, so I think all like the pros and famous streamers playing her is really helping her out. All right, Heisenberg wants to know what tier you would put Maggie in and why that tier. I'd give her an A tier. I think anything less and you just just you just don't like her. <laughs> uh, and she's usable in most situations, most fights. She's a good counter to Gibby, Newcastle, Ramp part she's really good against almost any defensive legend makes fights a lot quicker when they're held up in a building even all right op gamer is struggling to use her ultimate ability he says whenever i use it it breaks in like three bounces and after one bounce sometimes what do you what, what do i do to fix this i don't know what it is with her ultimate it's bugged with other legend tacticals especially mirage i've seen it with mirage uh revenant death balls newcastle a bangalore off, right? any any ult uh, they just no they just blow up it causes it to blow up instantly so the worst one by far is mirage if there's a decoy anywhere near do not throw your ball it's just gonna blow up right in front of you i don't know what it is but the decoys cause it to blow up instantly the same thing with the death balls if it's near a death ball it'll just blow up i've seen it blow up with a bang ult if you throw the I ball and hit somebody happens. like directly does it blow up or just keep going no it'll blow up instantly if you just throw it in their face okay if, if it's within like uh, if even if it's super close to them it'll blow up sometimes too and it won't hit them oh geez they need to fix that come on yeah i don't know it's been like that for a long time i don't know you were seeing a lot more maggies but kentucky wants to ask why you think maggie's pick rate has still remained so low i mean it's the same reason as always with any non-mobility legends people just like to have fun on the game and they tend to go towards the legends with movement because they're the most fun it takes sure. time to learn the legend that you know just can't fly around easily and people don't really care to learn it geez there's like what 23 legends now i feel like the pick rates are so spread out yeah the they're place very it's, spread out it's never gonna be one and it's sided. always usually the top picks are always the same ones right like the wraith octane pathy horizon valk it's because everybody it's knows how to use legends. them <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're the easiest all right captain jacinto wants to know what players usually do wrong on maggie a lot of people tend to waste her tack so like there's situations where i'm, I'm fighting another maggie and they probably would have killed me if they just had their tack or even their ultimate they don't have either it's always good to have one and they tend to just waste them when they need them they're just sitting there without it because i've had a couple maggies kill me where they actually use their tack well and you know tough to get away but, from yeah once you get tacked it's and they're like on you it's very hard to win that fight because it's not even if it's not hitting you it's very blinding i've reached even my own teammates with my attack because it's very blinding what legends counter her i find the most trouble like i said with the mobility legends i struggle just because it's like the second they get high it's like if i climb they're either gonna be me climbing it's just very difficult i don't struggle with mo like i said she's really good against most of the defensive legends i tend to bully those the most and the second a horizon goes in the air the fight just lasts longer same with pathfinder they grapple to high yeah it just takes your attention away from the uh the other yeah teammates. all right zero sacrifice what are your tips on how to 1v3 with maggie first step you know you gotta have some good skill there but it's like with any legend you need to separate the people so you need to try to pick one fight at a time and try not to get jumped because she doesn't have the best mobility in terms of like getting height so you can't just run in and get back out after you get a knock you have to play it smarter with her so i always try to use attack to to separate one of the people from their teammates or at least get one teammate hurt enough to where it's a 1v2 rather than a 1v3 and then i'll try to make a move you just gotta pick at them little by little the 1v3s with her I, they take a little longer usually i've noticed okay press and long wants to know where does mad maggie's kit lack and what would you do to combat that i haven't felt it lacking the 
buffs she got were really great to counter other legends defensive attacks and ults people have been asking me if i you know like if i could buff her what it would be i mean for me i would love a second attack but at the same time i think that would be overpowered <laughs> i think she's in a really good spot i don't know what else they could really do to give her more without breaking her you said a double tack that would be insane yeah Cut that would be really broken <laughs> both sides <laughs> All right, a lonely witch wants to know, how often do you find yourself with double Mozambiques on her? I've only ever done it like twice. <laughs> But the Mozambique with her is extremely fun, especially now that they brought hammer points. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really fun weapon. So I, I might... actually paired a lot with the RE from the care package because, you know, they pair oh, yeah. well together. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I might as well ask you, what do you think of the new shotgun bolt? I mean, it's really good. I tend to, you know, slide a lot with her, especially, and uh, it's very helpful. And I, I can shoot like 10 EVA bullets instead of, you know, the eight or same with the PK. You'll at least always usually at least get one extra bullet from your shotgun if you have the gold bolt yeah so it's pretty pretty useful all right jair bear sounds like he's having a little bit of a personal problem here why does mad maggie make him all hot and bothered that's what he wants to know Ooh, no <laughs> she's got them them hot grandma vibes you know <laughs> <laughs> She what is she like 55 no something know. like that she reminds me of a biker I think they say she's a... or something i mean she has a whip so you know if, if you're into that <laughs> <laughs> all right i wants to know do you think you're the best mad maggie in the game i just have the most i don't i was actually talking about this yesterday no i don't think i'm the best by far is there any i've seen other... a lot of yeah i was gonna ask you that i don't know name specifically i know i've seen i uh, was it like our moose on tiktok or something like that he's a pc player i've seen a lot of like i think he gives like and Tit, like yeah there you go there you go i've seen him like do clips of and explaining fights with maggie i think he's pretty solid there's just a lot of people i don't think i'm the best though by far okay well you're certainly up there let's just yeah let's, let's say that for sure yeah yeah i think i'm up there but i don't think i'm the best that's just you know i like to be realistic 